All right, people are starting to come on. Hello, hello. All right, here's your first question. Has back pain or any kind of pain stopped you from getting into your garden recently or from doing anything else that's really important in your life? Yes, I have osteoarthritis. You know, unfortunately, when we're um, over 25, you know, things do change in our body and we do start to develop some little bit of wear and tear. And so what we do to support our body and our back is very, very important. Pardon me. It shouldn't stop me, but it does. Jillian says, yes, I know sometimes that does happen. And we want to try and talk about some of the different things that we can do to try and really help you manage your body better, use your body better, um, do a little bit of maintenance, I always call it as well. So we are going to talk about the four common causes of back pain. And hopefully <laughs> this little, um, uh, little, picture here is going to give you a little indication of a, a common cause of back pain. So we have lots of reasons why our back gets sore and bad posture and bad body mechanics is one of them. So that, I put that as my number one cause of why we have back pain. Okay. Now, um, we often will have um, bad body mechanics because we forget and we're not thinking and you know we're not thinking about our posture and we're not thinking about what we're doing properly so we want to make sure that um, you are always using your body by you know having flexible hips and having flexible knees to be able to move well i have this real problem that when i garden i just want to get that one more weed or do that one more the little section and i really you know shouldn't do that but you know your back gets sore when you do that too long so what I've suggested with this particular slide is that when we do a, a position, we change it up. We don't stay there for longer than 10 or 15 minutes. So when people come to see me, I always say, do you warm up? And 99.9% .9 of the people say no, because it's gardening. Never. Yes. Thank you, Susan. She said never. Someone was <laughs> rightful, truthful to say they never warm up. And most people don't, quite honestly, because we don't think of it like going for a run. We think of it like you know, it's just gardening. It's something easy. I get out into my garden all the time, but I don't warm up. So we need to warm up all our big muscle groups in order to feel better. Now, my number four cause of why people get sore is not stretching afterwards. So when we go and do an activity, we tighten up our muscles a whole bunch. And we feel really good while we do that activity because we're actually nice and warm. But when we stop moving, we actually get stiffer again. So we get really tight and those muscles um, don't just relengthen. And then when we go and sit and we, um, or lay down and sleep, our muscles get even tighter. And so then you get up the next morning and it's like, oh, what did I do? I'm very, very stiff. So when we want to go, um, or after gardening, we really want to try and you know loosen our body back up again and relengthen those muscles back out. The tools that you use are really really important to help your back. If your tools are too big for you, you're going to have problems. If your tools are too small for you, you can have problems. So especially things like shovels and rakes, um, the length of how how long that whole handle is can really affect your back. All right, pace yourself. You don't have to get it all done in one day. This is my, you know, one of my number one issues as to why I run into troubles. I try to do too much in a day, so I'm getting much better at, you know, pacing myself. So, uh, posture. So that's our number four cause of some problems. Um, posture is something that I probably talk about every single day in my job. Every single day. Um, when we have bad posture, we end up. Um, putting a lot of stress on our body. We end up um, not aligning our joints. We end up stacking, remember those bones we talked about in the very first slides, we stack them up improperly. We end up having a lot of tightness. We end up having a lot of joint stiffness. So bad posture is not going to line us up very well. So we want to really make sure that we have really good posture. But um, hopefully that gardening topic was something that, uh, that uh, you all enjoyed. Thank you so much and we have a wonderful day and get outside into your garden but remember to warm up and remember to stretch and think about your good posture. Alrighty, bye everyone. Thanks for joining me.